amongst at UL graduates are amongst the newest business owners near campus. The kitchen on Clinton is now open on University Avenue. Our Justice Henderson shares the story of how these former students are living out their dream. Kitchen on Clinton it started two years ago in 2016 um, out of our house on 1117 Clinton Street. Um, we kind of started it, you know, just for fun, cooking wings and, you know, eating them because we all liked it. And then eventually our friends kept asking for it to the point we realized, you know, we can open up a successful business. A business that left the cast iron skillets on the stovetop and moved into this food truck. A transition that grew their business more than they expected. First, like starting off, like the food truck, it was going steady. Like it was going steady. Then after that, like the food truck just started picking up. Yeah. I'm talking about like it was just started getting crazy like and like people started spreading the word like just everywhere. The word spread so far that even the businesses in the area were affected. Man, we, we were buying so much chicken at one point. Uh, we went around uh, all the Walmarts <laughs> and Lafayette and cleared them out of all of their fresh chicken on stock. It got so bad that they stopped selling this chicken. Matter of fact, Sam's Club just brought us a cake today because we used to buy so much chicken from right. them. So. The men say they have no regrets. With Friday's grand opening of their brick and mortar location, they're reflecting on how far they've come. We're really thankful for the opportunity to be examples um, to all the younger men and also the men our age. Um, there's a lot of other people doing a lot of great things in the city too. I mean, we're just grateful enough and blessed enough to get the exposure. So we plan on it. In Lafayette, Justice Henderson, KTC. TV3. And that full service restaurant and bar is now open to the public and keep an eye out for the food truck. It'll still be on the streets as well.